Hey guys, this just dropped on the official Rainbow Six Twitter and it's a teaser for Ella. So we've seen Ella in the leaks, we know what she does and this matches up perfectly. We can see her skin tight outfit is exactly what we see in the leaks and we get to see her actual gadget in this picture as well along with her actual icon in the background as well. So we only see half of that icon in the leak, so I've been able to use that to create the full thing. So this is what it's probably going to look like in-game, which is a really cool icon, I've got to say. Now her actual gadgets, they look like something out of the Division. They really look like Division tech, like one of the gadgets in Division for sure. Now they're pretty large. These are concussion mines, so they can be placed on surfaces. They also have a pin that you can pull out from the looks of it, which is very interesting. So Capcan and Frost can both pick up their traps after they've been placed. I wonder if you place these traps, pull out the pin, and that might be it. You might not be able to come back and actually put the pin back in and take it somewhere else. You might be limited to wherever you drop it to begin with, which is cool. I wonder as well, potentially could you throw these, use them as kind of grenades to disorientate your opponents? I don't know if it'd be that practical. It's probably better to use it more as a trap. I can see these probably getting used mostly on windows that people are going to enter in. So actual external windows. So that, you know, if one of the enemy comes in a window, the concussion grenade goes off and then you would do an ambush of that person as they come in. Because that seems like the most practical idea. Like putting these near the objective or something like that sounds like a really bad idea. And I doubt it would work very well at all. Now... Ella, I think, is probably going to be the most popular operator out of this season, which is good because she's the only Polish operator in this season. So if she ends up coming out as the most popular operator from the Blood Orchid season, I think that would be actually quite fitting and quite, kind of nice. Now, obviously, from the leaks, we know what Ella looks like and we know what our gadgets do. And as well, we also know what her loadout is. So you can go check out my video on all the new weapons that are going to get added to the game. But tell me what you think of Ella. Because this is really cool. I'm really looking forward to playing as Ella. And I think, like I say, she's going to be the most popular. Now we did have another teaser that was even called by the marketing team the Ella teaser in its actual file name. But now no longer looks like Ella. That's very confusing. People of us may be thinking, people are maybe thinking this is actually the male attacker for the next season. Kind of odd to promote as your first piece of marketing the next season's operator before you even get this season started. It's kind of weird. But if we actually look at the official tweet that came out with the original teaser, it said, war is chaos. And if we look at the new teaser, it says, and I am an agent of chaos. So these are definitely the same operator and they're obviously teasing the same operator. The thing is the first one definitely doesn't match up to the second one. Like those are definitely genes in the first teaser. So maybe, Maybe this image was made earlier in development when they thought she was going to be wearing jeans and then they decided to give her the kind of yoga pants for later. It's a bit odd. Bit of a, I think probably a bit of a misstep in the marketing, but I think we can definitely say this is indeed the same operator being teased in both these images. So there we go, guys. That is it. That is Ella. I think she's freaking awesome. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below and make sure to check out all the videos on all the content we're getting for Blood Orchid. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time.